So, you want to make some nice custom shapes with some bezier curves? Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's make some lines. Hey guys, welcome back to Tuts by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we are back in Blender 2.8 Eevee once again, taking a look at what I just said, like always. It, we're not going to do what I didn't say, we're going to do what I said. That would be clickbait. So, we're going to go ahead and hit uh, delete on default cube. We don't need him for today. I'm also going to select our lamp and hit delete on that as well, and might as well just get rid of the camera and put it out of the way because I don't need it for this scene. But of course, if you're rendering something, don't delete the camera. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit shift A to add in a curve. This could be a circle, a bezier, whatever. It could be a path even. Um, but I'm going to go with a uh, bezier curve here. And what we're going to do is we're going to scroll on in here. You see it has this like kind of line curvy-ish thing to it. So if I hit tab to go into edit mode, you can see we can edit this line and the shape of it, which is really cool. But it's just a line right now. If we were to render this, it doesn't render as anything. If I go to render viewport shading, you can see it doesn't render as anything if I turn my overlays off. We're only seeing that orange line because that is like what's selected. If I deselect everything, we only see the line. And as you can see, there's nothing there. It's just a line. It doesn't actually render anything. So the way we can fix this and actually have a line show up as this Bezier curve is we go to the Object Data Properties tab here and we scroll on down to Geometry, open that up, and then we go ahead and turn the Depth uh, value slider up and you can see now that we have an actual line this is an actual line so if I go to render viewport shading you can see it it is rendering a line now of course it's uh, you know uh, it's kind of dark because there's no lamp or light or anything but you can see that there is a line if I add a material to it you can see that it is now blue it's pink yellow green blue and this is really really cool because now we can create some really neat custom shapes with this you can really do anything with this and a lot of people don't know about this and so many people ask me how they can make like lines or shapes or whatever what have you and this is the way so if you go ahead and just grab these points and uh, just hit G to move the anchor points. You can see you can rotate this around. Or if you hit the point in the center here, you can just tap R and rotate it practically the same way. But just, you know, less. It, it's easier to move by grabbing these anchors on the ends, essentially, with hitting G. Um, you can actually go ahead and hit and select that middle point and hit E to extrude. And extrude and make another line segment there. You can hit G to move it around. And then just uh, rotate this around again. And if you want to go ahead and connect this line up together with each other, we can go ahead and select the two points you want to connect. Hold down shift on your keyboard, left click both of them, and hit F to create a face. And now you can see we have a perfect, well, not a perfect circle, but we have a perfect circle now that it, it you know, it goes together is what I mean. So you can curve this bad boy. You can have it like this. It's like a potato chip hollow now. It's like... There's, there's no actual chip parts, just a lot. You get the idea. Um, so you can make a lot of different custom shapes with this. It's very, very cool. And like I said, there's different shapes as well. So you can hit Shift A, go out of edit mode by hitting Tab, by the way. Tab. And then hit Shift A to add in a circle or whatnot. And then you can do the same exact thing. You just turn the bevel depth up. And uh, if, if you want it to be a little bit more high resolution, because you can see some of the chunks in here, you can turn the resolution up. And you can see that we don't have that as much anymore. And also the render resolution and the resolution of the actual um, uh, render. So this is the, this is just a preview, so it, it's just turning up and down the preview right here. Um, and uh, if we, let's turn this like to 64, or that's probably too much. Let's just do, 20 is probably fine, and then we can just do the render on 20 as well. Make sure this render and resolution uh, preview is the same thing, or else you're gonna wonder why the, the render is very low quality compared to the preview. Um, this resolution down here does the same thing that it does when you look at text. So if I were to do the same thing with text, you can see it's the same exact property. It's just, this resolution and depth is practically the same thing as when you use text. So just kind of think of it like that uh, if you know how that works. So it's, it's pretty much just as you can see what it's doing. The lower it is, the worse it looks. And then the higher the resolution is, the better it starts looking. And the more rounded and everything else. And you can also edit this. Hit tab to go ahead and edit these, these points by hitting G. You just curve this up and make a very, very simple custom shape you can go around the edge of a model and create like some some 3d line art which is very awesome to even think about uh, this is a great way to do like emblems or something maybe you want to do like an emblem and have a border around it or maybe you're just making a custom shape in general you can also go ahead and and take this even further by let's say this was a flat circle still because just to make it easier on myself for today's quick tutorial hit shift a you can add in a mesh circle and then change this circle to fill type from nothing to in gone and then let's just get rid of this real quick and then move this back to the center by hitting alt g and now you can see we now have like this really cool um 
thing where there's a circle around the outside and then it's actually filled in, which is very neat. You can make this thinner. Uh, you can make it thicker, like a donut with a thing in the middle of it. Very cool. So this is an easy way of making models. This could be a serving tray. This could be a dish, a plate. Uh, very, very quick, very easy. And of course, you just want to hit B to box, select both of those items, and then just go ahead and go to object, join, and you know, now they're to, well, actually, we have to parent them together first. So, sorry, Alt P first of all, uh, Control P, not Alt P, Control P to parent these to the object, and then you can do it like that. Because these aren't the same mesh, we can't join them uh, because they're not the same, they're two different meshes. So, um, you can also do the same thing with the Boolean tool. But that the, the point is that this uh, this awesome awesome feature with the bevel and bezier curves is very very cool so hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed uh this quick tutorial just telling you guys that there's actually a way to get really nice custom shapes uh and lines and whatever what have you uh oh i know what we can do the bevel start here is really cool so you can actually animate this to look like it's coming out as well so this is a really cool animatable object you can just hit i to ho hover your cursor over top of this value hit i and then move to a new location in your timeline and then just change the value and hover your cursor over top of that hit i and now you can see that the um curve will actually do the animation which is very 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 cool and you can do the same thing with the end value as well start and end um, and you can see this is just, it's just a lot of a lot of different options that you have here. It's very very cool uh, And you're that you're able to do so much with such little tiny bit of lines now this taper object we can actually go ahead and uh, Grab let's actually grab This right here. Uh, I believe where's that at right there? Uh, this is a, also a very cool thing right here the the film mode there's also a fill mode right here. You can see what I've done is right here in the extrude value. I just turned that up a little bit under underneath the offset in the ge geometry property. We can turn the extrude up and make it longer. Um, but there's also a fill mode, which is full, back, uh, front, half. And there's a lot of really cool things you can do with this um, because you have a lot of options. Now we have this nice curved line that you don't have to make. And you can just kind of create without having to do anything. Um, because now we have it on half mode, which is very cool. So this could be like a, a track, like obviously rotated on side, but there we go. Like a track or something. I don't know what that is, but it's very cool and very easy to make nice shapes like this, like I was saying. Um, something else we can do is very quickly, let's actually go ahead and let me bump that up real quick. Very quickly, uh, let's go through, uh, what was the other property? Oh, twist up here. So twist, if we turn this to a different value, some, some of the times, let me actually take the extrude value off. You can see how we can get some nice, uh, some nice uh, effects from more like a distorted lines. So let me actually space these out a bit more so they're not as distorted. Uh, there we go something like that okay so what we have here is you can have a lot of different things you can see what this is actually doing it, it is twisting the lines so it kind of goes from here and twist it around and does a really nice thing maybe this would be great for like vines or leaves or something whatever you're doing um, but the point is that there's a lot of different abilities here and we have the option to also smooth it out if it's a little too crazy like this right here obviously is way too much we can smooth that out and make it a little bit uh, more smoothly curved which is a very 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 cool that blender has that ability to do so I'm gonna move this out there this out there and now you can see we have a nice curving going on that's with no, no smoothing and of course we have this with full uh, smoothing we can smooth it all the way out very 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 cool things you can do here like I said it's very very nice and in easy to kind of get the hang of because it's, it's so simple to do in the first place so hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed today's tutorial i will see you ladies and gentlemen in the next one but until then bye bye